Hello, my name is Juan. I'm a coach and I rate OneStream a four star out of five. And if you want to check out more reviews, check the link below. So before OneStream, I didn't quite have a specific software for video or streaming. I was simply going live on whichever social media platform I wanted to go live. And it wasn't working because it just gets confusing to manage all the platforms uh, at a time and just trying to record video for all of them uh, it was just too complicated so I needed something more simpler to use so why did I pick one stream well one is because I found a deal uh, they were launching at the time and they were doing some type of lifetime deal uh, so I went with it and it also because it got it came recommended by one of my uh, digital mentoring um, um, friends and it just gave me like a place to have my video recorded maybe once and then it just kind of got repurposed and sent to the different platforms either live or pre-recorded and that was just what I was looking for in terms of time saving and then simplicity of management so how easy was it to set it up uh, when it started it was it's pretty straightforward I think the very first thing that you do is just connect your social media accounts and they all function through click a button enter your login information and it connects directly for a lot of the very commonly known social media accounts that exist today uh, in terms of how to connect it to different platforms like if you wanted to use zoom or something like that they will have uh, tutorials or articles that will tell you how to do it and where should you look for it so it's relatively intuitive maybe there is a little bit of configuration in, in, in some of the settings if you want to do customized things uh, but in terms of connectivity it was very simple to set up I think one of the th main things to think about is is this really a platform that you need because there are thousands and thousands of platforms for recording video and streaming uh, maybe you're thinking that it that you're getting caught in the features that it has I say first just assess do you really need it and then the second thing is what do you need it for uh, because once it really focuses on uh, maybe pre-recording your video and then it, sh it shares it as if you were live so what it will help you do is that if you're your own person your one person business you can uh, set it up so it plays the video live but you can then on be handling the comments live and, and concentrate on the customer service part while the lesson is playing on its own so that's one kind of neat feature to have uh, but not everybody needs it especially if you're just starting and you don't maybe not want to be stuck with a membership that you're not going to use uh, often and frequently so just consider do you really need it and then what strategy do you have for sharing your content and creating it and things like that so that's what I would say if you are considering one stream.